Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn about the R forecasting visual for Power BI. I have already downloaded this visual and imported it into my Power BI desktop. I have got the data. So I, what the data I am using is the world population growth data. So this is the data population by country. And uh, I have downloaded the file and I have made some changes. Uh, you can. Uh, Grab the file from my website. I will post a link to my website and you can go there and grab the file if you want to uh, use the same example. So I've imported the data as well. Let's just create a fresh page. I've imported the Power BI forecasting visual. I'll click that. It becomes available to me. And uh, What I'll do is I'll grab the population field and put it under value and I'll use the last date of the year and drag it under the date field. One thing to be aware of is that the R visual expe expects us to have at least one column which is a date. So as you can see I've got this data and um, let's just get a filter or a slicer and I've got that slicer and I'll just slice by country. I'll make a quick check. I'll just enable the select all option for this. So I've done that. And as you can see now, I can select Belgium and it'll give me a forecast for Belgium. or France or I can use the select all option and it will do it for the for all the countries so a couple of things about the R visual that interested me well I don't understand a lot of it but if I select the art visual and go on to the settings or the format. I go on to forecasting settings and I can select. So the data is still 2000 and it does a prediction 2000 onwards. So I can tell that or specify the data points. So let's say I just want three data points for forecasting. So I can click three. And as you can see, it shows me three points from uh, 2000 onwards. I'll just go back and switch it to 10. I just wanted to show you uh, this as an example. And the other thing that was interesting was the confidence level. So this is so this in here, you can see the dark area and the light shade area. So the dark area is prediction with 80% level of confidence. So if I reduce this to, okay, I want to predict with 28% level of confidence. And you will see that this, this area will shrink the, and you can move this around and play around with this a bit to see what works for you. Overall, I'm quite happy with the forecasting visual because it doesn't require any R coding and it is interactive with other, other Power BI visuals as well. Uh, I hope you find this uh, video useful and thanks for watching this video.